Hello, my name is Abe. Welcome back to Dead Cells. Let's do a normal run here today. Um, I guess we'll just do normal mode run. I say it every time, but still not on the next update, the clean cut update, which is uh, which I've been made aware of is the name of the next update. Um, I looked at the wiki and it said April 5th, but it's clearly, clearly not April 5th because it's April 21st right now. That was probably when the early access not the early access, but the alpha version of that update came out, and then I checked it out, and I really like the sword. It's, it's not a sword, it's um... <laughs> what is the name of it? Scissors. Yeah, there you go. The other S word. What do we have here today? Last run was survival. You know what I would like this run? Probably like a fire build. I feel like it's been a while, a while since we have done a good fire build. There's not really a good tactics run in here. The uh, the money weapons are not good legendary and they're just otherwise not great. Uh, but we have spin to win, grenade, a good heavy damage sword, a shield. Hold on, why is the sound all messed up? Ah, I have my headphones on and my speakers are on at the same time. I'm hearing the game twice, much better. Sorry, if it's not one thing, it's another with my streams. It's like, why uh, why is the frame rate all messed up? Who knows? Why do I, why is the audio all messed up? Well, you can figure it out yourself. Yeah, let's just um, let's roll this. The burn, very good damage over time. And we can, we can easily build a run around the burn. Excuse me? You're not dead yet, are you? I should probably actually use my sword one of these days. Well, you know what? If we're going around burn, <laughs> if we're gonna build a burn run, the oil grenade, or the oil from the infantry grenade is definitely a way to do it. You might as well, right? Let's um, get rid of the collector syringe because it's too cheesy even for me. Add plus two points in brutality. It's um, those uh, random legendary drops you get sometimes from enemies or elites. I, I think you can get them from enemies, but don't quote me on that one. That's just like an in addition to everything else sort of drop. It's completely random. You still get one legendary altar per run randomly somewhere. But um. You know, getting, it, it feels bad in the current iteration of Dead Cells to get a legendary weapon early because the damage from the legendary weapon is not gonna scale that well into the late game. So for now, you know, we're just gonna equip the grenade because we like the oil effect from it and otherwise we're just not gonna care too much. It It's gonna do what it does and you know, as much damage as we get out of it is what we get out of it, and we'll we'll feel free to replace it later since it's not gonna scale. I would love, I would love to see an update to this game. Now that they nerfed legendaries, like four updates ago. <clears throat> I would love a version of this game where you actually could upgrade your legendaries. Like every time you fought a boss, you could upgrade one legendary to the current tier of your world or your, your run, you know? Something, just give me something that makes this grenade not completely worthless in the late game. Because a level four weapon is uh, pretty bad. Dun, 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 dun. <clears throat> All right. At least it's pretty good damage, especially early. Does it say 5-4-2023 is it? Update date, I think Dead Souls makers are French. You know what, so I um, I looked at the, the wiki.gg regarding the upcoming update, because I wanted to know the name of it, and it was the Clean Cut Update. And it said April 5th, but it's entirely possible that whoever made that change to the wiki saw April, or saw 4-5, and thought that it was April 5th instead of the 5th of, or the 4th of, May, because yeah, the, the developers are French. When you uh, update the game to the alpha version and it's like, import your save file, you know, the dates in the save file system are month day instead of day month. 
I'm a, I'm a big proponent in, you know, ISO 9000's uh, standards, so my preferred date format is year, month, day. That way it gets sorted alphabetically, automatically. <laughs> you don't need to do anything, it's just already in the correct order. And I don't know anyone who actually uses year, day, month. They may exist. They may be weird. But I think most of everybody understands the uh, year, month, day as being a very orderly way of doing it. We took no damage on the floor. We've got a lot of food. We're just going to recycle everything. I was pay trying to pay attention. I didn't see any bonus floor runes. Uh, there is a grenade. What do you have? Nothing. It's fine. Let's get out of here. Ooh, there was some money here. I was wondering about that. I was wondering if the enemy that I burned to death would give me the money because he was kind of off screen. I guess the answer to that question is no. So where are we going? If we're going for a burn build, I really do think Ossuary Black Bridge is what we want to do. The Watcher is really hard to burn, and with Brutality Run, it's going to be hard to hit. With Grenades, it's not going to be fantastic, and Nest doesn't burn at all. So we could do the castle, Dracula's Castle, but we've done that previously. So I think we're going to go Ossuary, Prison Depths, Dilapidated Arboretum. Let's go. Let's go. Connie says, I'm a proponent of Unix time. Ah, you're a proponent of how many milliseconds since January 1st, 1970 has it been? <laughs> Time is illusion. Time is also a long integer. Ah, Quirk says she's had a bit of a migraine problem lately. Sorry to hear that. Correct me if I'm wrong, Quirk, but didn't you move recently? Perhaps you are getting acclimated to a new environment. That would be my guess. Flint is such a great weapon, but it would be very funny to have two infantry grenades that we can spam constantly. But we'll find another infantry grenade. Right now we need a better weapon, and this rocks. 40% bonus damage flint. Gong, 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 gong. Yeah, it's very good damage. Very good, very good, very good, very good damage. So we're gonna have disengagement. It's a uh, normal disengagement, not the updated one. Blood Angel says, Abe, I bought a game the other day. Got an email telling me I got server time starting in like 1973. I have no idea what that means. Server time? Is this some sort of a multiplayer experience? Honk. Are you one of those people who still play uh, RuneScape? Isn't that like the classic, you'll pull this game out of my, my cold dead hands, I'll play it forever type of experiences? Well, dude, these grenades are actually like kicking ass. I love them. I don't use grenades that often in Dead Cells. I, I like things that are a little bit more autonomous, but you know what? Being able to just chuck out grenades constantly is pretty decent. OSRS players are something else, man, says Gord Power. Like the original old, old school RuneScape players. I remember, maybe I don't remember, but <laughs> maybe I don't remember the Abe Clancy story. No, but I, I thought I remember there being like a bit of a brouhaha over like a RuneScape or something like that where they were trying to keep the old game alive and like the developers were like, no, you can't play on your own servers. It has to be our servers. And basically the player base said, F you. <laughs> I like what we got. I don't really want to replace anything. Like even the Flint. There's absolutely nothing wrong with a good flint. Are you still there? <laughs> there have been a ton, ton of RuneScape 
controversy, says Blood Angel. B Blood Angel, Blood Angel, won't you be mine? Club Penguin did that, says cool. Two and four K, sir, welcome. How you doing? No bonus jumps. That's unfortunate. You know what? Grab this amulet for a little bit more HP. So if we get hit, we take less. Please. <laughs> Good roll here. Good roll. All right, give me my amulet back now. I didn't get hit. Haunt. I finally heard they removed the real money gambling at the arena. This is Blood Angel. It RuneScape. Did they not learn their lesson from uh, Blizzard? Regarding real world money houses? Apparently not. Dang. I never did play like any MMO, like ever. That was just something that uh that passed me by as a as a gamer. One day when I'm sipping my coffee, this chest is going to spit out a whole bunch of enemies and I'm going to be very disappointed. I love the music on this level. Oh, I cannot be here. I also love being able to toss down two grenades and kill basically anything I want. It's actually working very well. Hey. Stop throwing your babies at me. Your children! You do it, I'll just keep throwing grenades at you. This is probably gonna be the prison exit, I think. But there's always a teleporter down here, so we can take the, the route. Looks like that's a shovel. Gotta admit, the flint has been pretty good. The legendary flint is a weapon that I would be incredibly interested in getting, but if, you know, that's kind of in a course because it's a legendary, and I would like to get any legendary pretty much at this point. But in particular, I, I've, I've heard very impressive things about that legendary flint. Instantaneous permanent charge up on its attack. Full power, every attack. Sounds like an absolute blast to use. Ah, we're on, what? We're on that level of malaise? I thought I was doing a better job than that. Hey, get out of here. Oh, it's not a shovel, it's polo power. <laughs> I made a mistake. Iron staff, good DPS. I'm not a fan of the weapon though. I suppose I couldn't really even tell you why. A lot of nothing. Hello. Clonk. Just want to hit the pause area so we can grab the teleporter. We got a little to explore. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Fans have revived the old Club Penguin under the unfortunate domain name newcp.com. <laughs> no, it's .net, says Connie. Don't click the earlier one. <laughs> New Club Penguin. I gotta be honest with you, I don't even know what Club Penguin is. I, I really couldn't tell you. Like, does it have anything to actually do with penguins, or is that just a, a name? Like, le legitimately, is it like Second Life? <laughs> I don't know. I'm r running under a lot of assumptions here regarding that one. Well, that didn't work. That worked beautifully, look at that shot.
I think the thing that I like about the uh, flint, other than the fact that it's a great weapon, it's very good at uh, allowing me to dodge roll after I attack with it. You're not stuck in any sort of an animation. Which is one of those things that I look forward for. I look for in a good weapon. Excuse me, I should get all of them. Nope, maybe not. Another spin to win, huh? The chat room for mini games. Habbo Hotel Butt Penguin. <laughs> okay. Mr. Grenade. I like the low cooldowns that we have. And I think it would be funny to get another quick infantry grenade. But these are uh, these prices are a little expensive, and we don't need fire. I haven't been using the fire brand basically at all. I feel like there hasn't really been a reason to. What do we got? Nah. We could all we could just burn enemies and then run away, especially on the weak enemies, I suppose. Elite Yeeter. Little unfortunate. Wow, is your crystal still there? Still there? That's funny. That's surprising. By the way, you're dead. It's just like a solid weapon loadout that I feel very comfortable with, and that's very important in dead cells. You know, sure, you're gonna have a fun time uh, trying out new things, but also you're gonna have a fun time just using what you like, what you're good at, what you're good with. Get out of here. Hold on. Can't quite burn you. Why did, why did that stun me when I hit it with the ranged attack? Come on. Come on. I'm not even gonna upgrade the grenade because we're gonna we're gonna want a better grenade in the future. We'll wait until uh, a couple of levels from now and then we'll start rerolling things. Keep getting more brutality. Still have uh, a bit to explore. Malaise has been cleared and we're down to like one tenth of our malaise or of the first bar of the malaise meter, so we're a okay there. Hold on. <laughs> I think I forgot something. Gotcha. Go ahead, call your child to you so that I can throw the grenade and kill both of you at the same time. You sicken me. <sighs> I gotta use grenades more often. That's, that's solid performance right there. Only a few enemies left. Missed. Come on, come on, come on, come on. I think I got all but one. <laughs> it's just something fun about trying to hit the birds out of the air with a grenade <laughs> and kill like four of them at the same time. It's all about the enjoyment that you get out of the game. And the enjoyment you get out of your own Dang weapons. So there's like one enemy left and some food. We should pick up the non-infected food and just eat it. We don't have any like gastronomy happening. Hold on, how do I get down there? Ugh. Hold on, hold on. There's food here. Eat this. Honestly, I'll, I will probably go gastronomy. I don't know. Gastronomy is really nice, especially if you're rolling. There was a teleporter I didn't, didn't activate. Especially if you're rolling survival, but if you're rolling brutality, is it worth going for it? I don't know, probably. I mean, you do want to have the extra heals, but maybe because we have a little bit of fire, we want no mercy. I don't know. We're always going to be recycling some food, probably. Scipio Scion, welcome. Hello. Astronomy a perk? 
Gastronomy makes it so that food heals you for more, or you can recycle the food and get a damage bonus. So no matter what you find, you can utilize it. I really, I really like gastronomy. And the cool thing about gastronomy, I'll show you. So gastronomy is a green perk. The effect of food increases 65%. That's a constant. We don't have to put points in green in order for that to give us a value. What, what scales is if you recycle food, you deal 11% bonus damage for five minutes. That scales with green. So, you know, just taking it makes your food 65% better, which is pretty decent. Helps you to use fewer healing flasks over a run. Um, a tainted flask, if your flask is empty. Tainted flask is not good yet. Maybe one day. And of course, you could always go Armadillo Pack. Where are we going? Prison Depths? There's no reason to really have a dodge roll shield. So why don't we go, uh, why don't we go Gastronomy? That's pretty good. And then our our equipment is, is totally adequate. Okay. Scipio Science says, your streams really make me want this game. Dead Cells is the Terraria of action platforming. It has received so many updates over the years. The game has never been in a better state. It's incredibly fun to play. It's satisfying. I love this game. The first hallway when you open the door is the scariest one. Wait for you to die. You're coming to me. If I just wait for enemies to teleport to me, it's actually pretty easy to kill them. I'm very surprised you didn't want to try to teleport to me, honestly. I thought I saw someone. <laughs> I was real scared for a minute. By the way, your malaise tier is increased. We don't have teleporting enemies quite yet. There you go, curse has been lifted. Now we can go a little bit faster here. There's no one there, there's no one here, all right. Ooh. Almost. <laughs> you teleported away from me. Almost got the kill in on that guy, initially. Thank you. Hold on, gotta jump. The flint does one-hit everything, so there's no reason for me to try to be so, like, wary about engagements. Doesn't one-hit that guy if you don't hit him with it, of course. You just kind of, like, faded out of existence when I hit you. We're gonna, we're gonna pick up the food. We don't need a damage bonus from food until we actually are... ...fighting a boss. Otherwise... I think it's way more effective use of our time... Ah! ...to, uh... ...just pick it up for healing. Kindy says, the main game in the free DLC has more than enough content. The paid ones are like five bucks or something. Castlevania one's like 10 bucks. And here, here's the thing. Oh God. The, uh, the game and the content are very fulfilling and satisfying and I would say very much worth the price. I know that some people um, have been like, oh, I don't want, I don't like having to buy another DLC for a video game, but it's all, it's like, it's great content content that I very much enjoy and I want to support the developers to continue making more content. It's 10 bucks because it used the Castlevania IP. It's possible. It could also be that they just had a lot of like development work on it or something. I don't know. 
Oil grenade. You know? Burning oil synergy. Let's do it. We probably don't need the legendary infantry grenade in, in this case. We can probably dump it, but it's faster than the oil grenade. But let's dump the powerful grenade for an oil grenade. I, we could roll double infantry grenade, of course, which is what I was thinking about. And honestly, you know what? That's very funny. Let's do it. Individually, these grenades are not that strong, but... I am a lumberjack. That's uh, actually not lumberjacking. It's more like mining. The beheaded's yearn for the mines. Just requires a little bit of uh, creative platforming there. Come here. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how I feel about this. Uh... Oh, there's our legendary. I don't know how I feel about this uh... setup right now. It's a legendary ice grenade. What the hell does that even do? Go ahead. What do you do? Enemies hit by this will thaw more slowly. Legendary ice grenade. It com it runs completely counter to the build, which is fire. I guess it's never. It's not really a build. It's just it runs counter to the fire that I have in my Y slot, and the fact that I have grenades that do more damage and have oil synergies and whatnot. Good coffee. I'm gonna put the cap on my thermos so it doesn't get cold. I, I hate to say it, I think this is a sell. Victims freeze nearby enemies, slows slow down, lasts longer, and spreads, but... Because of the fact that we have fire, the slowdown's basically gonna be meaningless. It's not gonna work at all. A serenade is fun, but... I'm gonna, we, we, we've ran Serenade quite a lot frequently. Let's not worry about it right now. I missed money. There's no uh, teleporter over here. What I'm gonna do is I am going to do a little bit of, of a run back here. Mostly I just wanna go grab the money. But I believe this floor has a 50% a chance to have a bonus rune. And I would very much like to just kind of keep an eye open for it. And you know what? That explains where you went. I almost got hit by him too. There's one other enemy to kill as well. And then there's that big old gold thing to pick up. Should really just probably have, you know, hidden floor runes easily seen. That accessibility option. Helps to, helps to reduce the backtracking, but... I, I, and there you go. I only loop back on this floor because it's so short of a floor. There's a high chance of the rune being there, relatively speaking. And usually because I'm cursed, I'm not paying attention. <laughs> and the floor is like relatively difficult. Extra jump, thank you. So this floor, you know, I will loop back and, and see if I, I can find the floor rune. Other floors, you know, if I if I find it in the moment, I'll I'll grab it, otherwise not so much. You know, if we miss it, oh well. Do -do -do -do. I always think I'm gonna hit my head on that one. This is a long one. <laughs> That's fair, prices are fair. Connie says, they also they also said they did a lot of work for this Castlevania DLC. I mean, that, that I can believe. 
Nintendo never gives out their, their licenses. Blood Angel says, I can't wait for Tears of the Kingdom. That's the new Zelda game. I, uh, I don't play a lot of Legend of Zelda games. I never did play the, um, the new one, Breath of the Wild. Even though I've heard n pretty much nothing but good things about it. You know what? That was worth killing that enemy. We got 500 gold from him, plus the gold he had normally, so... Yeah, that's, uh, it's worth it. Zelda is the best game series ever made. I don't know. I do kind of have a preference towards uh, some gungeoning. We want, uh, we want bridge. Do these challenge rifts get more challenging with higher BC? Nope, they're all the same. It's the same platforming challenges. If you, um, if you notice, it's usually like the same 15 platforming rooms just rearranged in a different order every single time. So you, you recognize them very quickly after a while. My dude's flasks are leaking. Poor guy. No reason to re-roll anything. Um, right, mutations. I forgot about these. What do we want? Definitely don't want to be streaming Nintendo content right now, Sasegus Jr. Can you can you stream Nintendo content? I thought they got a lot more open about their IP on on Twitch and whatnot. Like they, they originally had the Nintendo Partner Program, where you had to sign up and then like sign a form, you know, electronically, of course, saying, "I will not disparage Nintendo content. I will I will only play Nintendo content for 75 plus percent of my stream time." Just don't risk it. <laughs> Fair. A big Nintendo creator just got dunked on by Nintendo. That, re that requires way more information for me to make an opinion on it other than just a guy got dunked on. Or girl got dunked on. I need, I need more independent analysis of the situation. Your know, scheme could be interesting, but 800 damage, it is very reusable, but like, why not just go No Mercy? It's a flat damage bonus. Like, this is 800 damage on your next melee attack, which is, let's say, 10% bonus damage, but only after I use a skill, and then after I use a melee attack, not a ranged attack, or No Mercy is on bosses a flat, 50, like, 10 to 12% bonus damage, I think. So, like, honestly, it's gonna take no mercy on this one. We don't need the, the dodge roll, block, parry, shield thing right now. Conk. Ripperoni, great name and welcome. I'm at 2 BC right now, recommend a solid weapon, I can build something around it. Solid weapons. Uh, the one I'm using right now is actually pretty decent. It's the flint. The powered up shot is incredibly high damage. If you want my personal favorite weapons in the game, uh, I would recommend explosive crossbow, nerves of steel, tombstone. The death scythe is a lot of fun. Serenade is really good for a skill. I am just thinking about weapons here, but Serenade is highly good. Um, it's another one! Why is it all the way up there, though? Yeah, those are some of my, uh, my favorite weapons. Copyright strikes from... Large creator on YouTube, famously mostly for modded content of Breath of the Wild. Mmm. I see. So, Nintendo doesn't want people to get ideas about modding the game. 
which may or may not violate their terms of service. You don't know. Well, you probably, you could find out. I don't know. I guess here, here's the question. What, do you think that the, that the, um, the creator would prefer copyright strikes or like a message from their lawyer saying, stop making content regarding modded <laughs> the wild stuff. You know, what's the, what's the better outcome there? Where are we going? Man, you remember when you couldn't dodge roll through these? That was the day. All right. See ya. We're on the ossuary, which means there's a food shop. There is also going to be a cursed chest. You don't give me any points to my curse, though. So we need to we need to leave behind enemies that are easy to kill and that are ideally ranged because they will not teleport after me. Now, probably shouldn't be uh, killing any of these guys. You're blocking the path. You're uh, gonna teleport to me. Should not have killed you, that's my bad. Should not kill you, don't die. Get away from the fire, man! All right, this is a dead end. We'll come back here later. This is also a, a floor where if you start just killing absent-mindedly, you'll find that you actually trigger the uh, the malaise cleared event very late into the floor when there's only like five enemies remaining. So you can't really use that as an indicator for whether or not you can safely kill things. Maybe I should let these enemies actually turn into elites. Speaking of elite. What the heck? Oh, I forgot that his bombs explode that quickly. That's just, uh... It's absurd, man! Hey, Bubonic Lettuce, welcome. How you doing? You gotta go. I probably don't need to be using both grenades on, like, each one of these combats, but... That's another elite. Honestly... Yeah. Like that's that's my exact thinking right there is that we got to we got to at least take out the elite so that there's no like lasers or crystals. Don't want that. Don't die. Oh, got him. Come to me. Season is this probably better than a copyright strike if he gets another one, his channel might be deleted. Well, that's what you get for streaming Nintendo content, I guess. <laughs> oh, it sucks for him. But, uh... You know, not my problem. <laughs> Rip. Uh, let's buy the cough syrup. Well, hold on, let's buy the heal, in case it's a mimic. Nope, never... You know, I, I gotta remember, that's not a thing right now. It's only gonna be a thing in the next update. There is no Mimic right now. But I keep playing as though there is a Mimic. I guess it's good to be in the habit, you know? Doesn't the Flint light oil on fire as well? Let me see. I don't know. Cause it's just lighting things on fire. Victims burn when they die. I can't really uh, tell reliably. I don't think this is the cursed chest, it's just a chest, but let's see. Yeah. The mimic isn't real, it can't hurt you. Cursed sword? Wow, the damage sucks. Look at the, look at the damage in comparison to the flint. It does say it leaves a flail, a 
flaming trail, not a flailing trail. Yeah, so we're recycling that. I could, I could see myself taking it if it was like a legendary cursed sword, but for the regular version, nah. So we're gonna take that for the boss fight. I see this. That's a trap. I always forget about this trap in the ossuary. Is a, there's a blueprint down there initially, although I do forget what the blueprint is. I do love that I can hit your head. Oh, oh, oh. Hold on, I need to heal. I'm attacking in the wrong direction. Ah, <laughs> oh, damn it. Whatever, just die. Die, die, die. Blackbridge, this is not the exit we wanted. Uh. There's just a purple line, okay. Where do you think this damn chest is located? Maybe here? Pepperoni says, legendary flint OP. I haven't had the opportunity to have it myself. But oh baby. I would definitely love to go up to the, uh, like even the flint's better than the war pan. I'd love to be able to go up to the, um, Fractured, fractured Shrines. I love that floor just due to the fact that you can get sweet gear. There's so many enemies left behind, my god. I mean, this is literally why I left them behind, so let's, let's start go dealing with them. You are a, uh, a goo creator. You only count for one, though, but, you know, you still gotta be dealt with. Still something in there, it's just another goo, goo boy. Okay, that's done. Three kills <laughs> down. Malaise is increasing, we're gonna get spawners. That's a-okay. Well, I, I do not care about enemies spawning in. Uh, what do you think these guys are? Let's go take a look. Goo boys. Hey, you. That'll take care of them. Uh, you know, there's four enemies down here, and I got I got the ability to kill them. I killed him with the elevator. <laughs> that was a complete accident. Hey. All right. Like, I didn't even have to do anything to kill him with the elevator. It was a complete accident. <laughs> Officer, it was an accident, I swear. Gord Paris's ossuary might be my least favorite floor after the distillery. It, I, I don't have that bad of a, uh, a reason to come here. Like, I, I don't mind the ossuary. It's a little, it's a little long and windy and yeah, you have to go to a specific boss after this location. Okay, well, thank you, disengagement, because I just kind of got... I got bodied, you know, let's just be honest. I, got, I bodied myself, I didn't attack, because I saw that <laughs> I was gonna hit the spiker. And then I just got shot in the back, and who's to blame? We're just gonna go in here and go... Go. This is my penance pay, my penance purchase. Costs us a little bit of cash, but... You know what, maybe we should have just eaten the food. The first floor boss isn't that hard. Might have been a little bit of a rash decision, but that's fine. I'm the one who made the mistake, after all. Who are you? Who the hell are you? We'll go here. Like, sure, I could 
change the teleport to go where I wanted to go, or I could go here, which where I, I need to go anyways, because, you know, there's things to kill. There's things to kill everywhere. Um, I'm going to go down to the teleporter. Sorry for the map constantly. It's probably very annoying to some people. It's long layout sucks. You need to get a cursed chest. Spiky boys, electric boys. There's a lot of nonsense here, absolutely. I hate reveal secret walls. Mm, yes, please. I hate shielders. And by shielders, I mean shield elites. They are the worst. Go for another weapon. Mm. We want to go poison. That's the way to do it. But 15,000 DPS on a plus 40% damage flint is too good. I could go for a better um, fire enabler as well, but I, I like the fire brand because it's fast. It's balanced around being fast. It doesn't really interrupt your other uh, attacks. You can just chuck it and then keep swinging with your, uh, your primary weapon. Yeah, I probably should not have um, spent the, uh, the money on the heal. I should have just picked up the heals from the floor was a bit of a, um, a rash decision. A decision I, I'm currently regretting now that I'm looking at the amount of money that I have. Thinking where, like, when are we gonna be able to afford upgrading our weapons? Uh, we'll, we'll figure it out. I guess the hope is that we will find something good and legendary on the next floor. And maybe after the boss as well. Mmm. Nah, I'm not gonna spend money. Now are we done? No, there's still another scroll. Oh my god, there's so much stuff. I'm gonna eat one food and probably recycle the other food at this point. I didn't even see your attack. It's so, so hard to heal too. Well, pro now we're gonna eat both food. I don't care if we lose the damage bonus. You get hit and your recovery meter just starts tanking immediately. Cause we're on BC freaking five. Wish that speed bonus lasted forever. Um, so there's one food, and then we've killed everything. We have the curse. We've already gotten the items that we want from the floor. Time to fight the boss. Fire and oil grenades should do a pretty good job against him. We've already done this, haven't we? Ah, oh, I gotta go through here now, though. <laughs> Forgot we had already done it. All right. Blackbridge. Blackbridge boss. I will say, for as much as people um, tell me they don't like the ossuary, I hate the distillery more. <laughs> and I think the people who hate the ossuary probably also hate the distillery to an equal degree, if not more. That level sucks. We don't need to reset any mutations. I think we're great. Black Bridge boss is basically, keep your distance, throw fire at him, he'll die eventually. Hello. I'm the concierge, I suck.
I also have the attack that he has. Just trying to... stay basically as far away from him as possible. Stop with the aura. Oh, I missed. Lots of button presses. <laughs> I didn't double jump there. I'm very glad I didn't get hit by the shockwave. This boss has way too many phases. I, I, I understand why, otherwise you would just ice him. Like imagine using the syringe. Well, I mean, you can syringe bot. You can syringe kill a lot of bosses very quickly, but. It, it's my. Uh, <laughs> It's not really a problem, but my my thing with this boss is that I hate when he gets the shield, gets the aura, walks towards you, and hits you because you're on the wrong side of him. Because when he gets the shield, he pushes you away. So if he gets a shield, pushes you away, and you don't get interrupted, like what if your attack has can't be interrupted on it, then he can just hit you from behind, or sorry, he can walk up to you, hit you with his aura, and like you can't dodge roll through him, and then you just take the damage, and it's annoying. <laughs> It's freaking annoying, man. Okay. Magic Missile is extremely great. It's legendary, pierces all enemies. That's not a very interesting affix, but maybe we can reroll it with fire and then we don't need firebrands. It's level nine. I think we will retire the firebrand. A Brutality Magic Missile build. Sounds interesting to me. Can you make it half fire? It has Victim's Burn, but we have Victim's Burn on grenades, and the flint already creates fire in theory. But uh, let's see what we get. Shoots an arrow, shoots an arrow, shoots an arrow. Okay, double damage on burning oil spreads oil is fantastic. Now we just need a way of creating fire. What if we get rid of the flint? Ah, but the damage is so good. I don't know. Let's, um... Let's just do the next level and we'll think about it. But this level seems very nice to have with Magic Missile because it is... Also, you can hold Y. <laughs> Not only with the Quick Bow, with Magic Missile, you don't need to spam the button, you can just hold it. Oh my god, I'm learning so much. Magic Missile doesn't do that much damage, but it's got great homing. Well, it's not really homing, it's more of aiming, but it it's um very handy for any level with uh, lots of open space and we can um you you if you have a magic missile, you would like to go to the watcher fight. It's a very good way of killing the watcher super quickly. Whenever I have this, I always like to prefer the Watcher fight whenever possible, because it's just such an easy fight. Where are we going? Right there. We're going right there. It's got good range on it, too. It can shoot directly upwards, yeah, yeah. I just have to hold to attack repeatedly, sending on, says Gourd Power. I, uh, I have that turned off, I think, but it seems like for a couple of weapons that fire quickly, you can just hold the button regardless. Um, maybe on gameplay? Hold to attack, yeah. It's off, but uh, I suppose this weapon is special because it is so fast. Which honestly makes sense. Alright, blaze tier's increased. What I like to do whenever this happens is uh, I like to clear out 
the top floor. And any of you, then we'll go and grab that cursed chest. Let's go back. You need it off for some weapons like Flint. Oh, if, if you have that turned on, it'll automatically attack with Flint when it reaches its maximum charge. I mean, that makes a lot of sense. I didn't even think about that, yeah. Because with the Flint, you, you, you want to hold that charge and only release it when there's an enemy right in front of your face. Connie says, I have no, no, you can't charge it. Oh, really? That's weird. See, I, what I was thinking with the Flint is if you have hold to attack on, it charges and then releases and then charges and then releases and you can't time it. But if it just smacks repeatedly, it's stupid. Gord Power says it charges just fine. Okay. That's what I was thinking. Connie says, I have no idea how you managed to shoot. Tap shoot, quick bow and magic missile to this day without developing Carpal Tunnel. Who says, I haven't? <laughs> That's an awful assumption you've made there. There was one enemy here. It was easy to kill, and then we just have nine more. Should be, should be freaking easy. Don't really want to go down there and fight those guys right now, but... Because Magic Missile doesn't stun, like, ever. It's one of those weapons. So you've got to be a little bit careful with it. This is not combat. Let's go take a look. Random skills. I'm not going to spend my money. we got to save it. we got to pinch. Penny pinch a little bit here. Hello. First lifted, got a scroll. Tori's katana has problems, but Flint doesn't, says Gourd Power. With hold to attack, you can't slash only once, then dash, because when you hold, it just keeps attacking. Hmm. It's almost like this game was meant to be played with that option disabled, but. I still appreciate them adding it in, even if it's not perfect. You can't make it perfect, I don't think. You're always gonna have some late, like little exceptions, just because of the nature of you're trying to you're trying to play the game, you know, not as intended. Hello. Twenty four thousand damage. My lord, the flint is strong. All right, smoke bomb just seems funny. Oh, wait, no! Okay, on the update, the next version of Dead Cells is gonna have a better smoke bomb. What it's gonna do is, instead of legendary increasing your movement speed for 10 seconds, it'll recharge the timer immediately. So you're invisible for eight seconds, you can attack, one hit kill an enemy, and then you're invisible for eight seconds. And you can just keep the combo going forever. That's what the, up, the uh, next version of Smoke Bomb is gonna do. And I was really kind of tempted to take it and play around with it, but this is not the right version. It's next version of the game. Frantic Sword heals you up to 50% of your health. Will you lose the crits? Because critical hit less than heals you up to 50. Does it heal you to 50% and you no longer get the crit? I don't know. And then frontline shield is just weird. Like this with the flint, we could do a uh, 100,000 damage in a single hit if we parry first. That's tempting. Um, the thing about the frantic sword is that its damage is so much lower than the flint. It's half the damage, basically. Whether it's critting or not, so. I'm not, I, this is boring and it's gonna be a lot more fun in the next update. The, um, I already forgot the name of it. Uh, the 
close trim update, clean cut update. The Frantic Sword is really good because of the passive heal, but we have a, a much better weapon already. So I think you go frontline shield and then, you know, maybe you fight a boss that you can parry. <laughs> so it attacks faster. So this, it's good healing and it attacks faster than the Flint, but the damage is, the damage on the weapon is DPS, damage per second. Speed doesn't matter. The Frantic Sword, does 17,000 DPS on a crit, the flint does 32,000 DPS on, on crits. So the flint still does double damage. It does like 10 times the damage per hit, but overall it's still twice the damage of the uh, the frantic sword, so I don't see the point in taking the frantic sword. It's good healing, but I, I like the flint. And we have to be low on health for this to crit anyways, or have more than 50% malaise. So I think we take frontline shield. You know, this happens sometimes where you, you come down here to the floor and you just really don't get anything good from the legendaries. There's a reason why they're going to, um, you know, constantly be adding in, hopefully constantly, adding in new legendary affixes for everything because the legendary weapons are fun. You know, like the gun. I have to say I'm a, bit, I'm a pro gun man. And I'm not talking about the second amendment. Dun, dun, dun. If you compare things to Flint's DPS numbers, everything will seem low. Well, <laughs> that raises the question of why would I take any weapon that's not the Flint? Of course the Flint's gonna have higher damage and everything. Oh, I guess I'm gonna be using the Flint then. Hey, okay. forgot about the grenades. I killed most of those enemies. Flint is kind of slow and awkward to use. It can be, but I, I, I like the weapon. I, uh, I enjoy the flint. I'm a, I'm a flint enjoyer. I see you. Especially if you get the jump on enemies. That damage is uh, pretty sick. Hey. Okay. Oh yeah, I also forgot that the flint can break blocks. It can break the ground. I mean, flint is great, don't get me wrong. I mean, it is pretty good. It is very good. So good, oh yeah. Good old flint. Honk. You know what, see you later. Okay, he just jumped to his death, I love that. All right, wrong way. There's a seismic strike just sitting there. And a 50% heal? My God, free food. How great would there be if there was like a, a Mario biome in this game where like you can, there's like a pipe, you fall down the pipe and uh, you go up to like a cloud level, there's just a bunch of coins up there. I don't know. It's gotta be legendary gear too. Oh, and of course the item has to be the green boot. Flint is weirdly good for being a guaranteed first drop from the first boss. Well, I think I think the uh, balancing factor for the flint is that it is very awkward to use. You know, it requires a certain amount of skill to make sure that you are, um, you know, releasing the charge when appropriate, charging it when appropriate. You're not taking damage while you're charging it inappropriately. It's a good weapon. Solid. Punk. I do like just using the magic missile without having to care about um, like what you're aiming at. You can just shoot it. Oh, there goes my crossbow. Hello, uh, you're garbage. 
I thought you were gonna be legendary for a second. I was gonna be very happy. Call this episode Flint Enthusiasm. I'm probably gonna call this episode like Magic Missile or something. Cause I'm gonna I'm gonna scrub to the end. We'll have gotten rid of the flint by then, and I'll just see what I have as uh, as final items. You gotta remind me at the end. <laughs> Pyrotechnics. Good damage. Magic Missile's damage is surprisingly low, but the, the auto-aiming makes it fantastic. I'm starting to think what we what we need is a fire grenade. I guess we could we could roll pyrotechnics. We'd have to get rid of the flint for it though. I I, I suppose like what am I trying to think of? What boss are we fighting on this run? I like the idea. We can't go to... I always forget you cannot go to the caverns from the Fractured Shrines. Why, game? But we can go to the Sepulchre, into the Guardian's Haven, fight a boss to which Magic Missile is actually pretty decent, jump on the hand, flint the eyeball. That's what I'm thinking. Flint has plus 40% damage. Yeah, I haven't forgot about forgotten about that. There's still a, a little bit of like, why take anything else? Sure, it's got high damage, but like, I'll, I guess I'll, oh no, I've got a weapon with high damage. Whatever will I do? No, I'm not like blaming anyone for anything. I'm just saying, <laughs> I'm just saying here. Can, can there be bonus scrolls on this level? I assume it can be anywhere, so let's let's keep our eyes open, you know. I am just kind of exploring right now for the hell of it. You know, we've done the floor. Got him. Uh, where am I going? We're gonna recycle the food. We're gonna get these last remaining like five kills. I'll eat the uh, non-infected food just because it is health that I could utilize. And then we're gonna get out of here. Dear Nunu, welcome, how are you doing today? I hope you are having a good day. Hey, knock it off. Whoa, easy there, buddy. The heck? You almost tricked me into falling to my death. And I would have been a little bit salty, but very impressed, regardless. Oh god. Okay, get the food. There's a chest we haven't explored either. Nunu says sleepy but fine. I've been a little tired lately too. Maybe it's been the uh the summer starting up. Been getting warm outside. Maybe I've just been a little bit extra lazy lately. That's why I made myself some coffee before today's stream. It's like, you know what? I'm gonna need this, I think. I'm definitely gonna need this, aren't I? Eight hundred and fifty gold. I mean it is worth backtracking to, to loot a weapon. That's a lot of cash. Yeah, use the powerful shot on the bird. That's what you should do. Um, I think we're done. I do love killing those birds. So let's go recycle the food and then we'll leave. Did you really teleport all the way over there? I think if I teleport back, you'll teleport towards me. You're annoying like that. Honey says, I love a lot of the music tracks in this game, but this one has one of the best. Yeah, pretty good. Probably don't need to be doing, you know, this much backtracking and sidetracking and everything trying to 
find anything that I'm missing, but I'm a I'm a I'm a thorough player of video games. I like to make sure I don't forget anything. Gotcha. Uh, so where are we gonna go? That's not what I meant to do. Where are we gonna go? I wanna go Guardian's Haven, which means we have to go Sepulcher. I'm not even gonna go to the bank if it shows up. I don't wanna go to the bank. I think we've got a very good build against the... against the giant. He's an easy boss, even though I get hit by him half the time. Cursed Sword, 48,000 DPS. We're starting to get into a weapon that... might be able to rival our flint, but I'm just gonna keep the flint. We've had this weapon since like the, the first floor, a level seven weapon. I feel like you don't even get level seven weapons that early, so how the hell is this thing being that strong? But here we are. Honey says, your daily reminder, Darkest Dungeon 2 in 16 days. So I have two days of streams and then two weeks of streams and then I'll be playing Darkest Dungeon 2. Fantastic. This game has soundtracks? I don't actually own this uh, this soundtrack in Steam. I should pick it up because it's not terribly expensive and I love the soundtrack for this game. We gotta, we gotta wait for a second before we do anything. Speaking of reminders, have you checked out Crab Champions yet? I'm waiting to, to have people to play with, of course. Okay. Someone said that every cell door in this level has enemies. And if that's the case, oh, we should have gotten, we should definitely have gone back to lower our malaise. If every cell door has enemies, then that means we have a very easy way of uh, breaking our curse just on that door alone. Okay. Also enemies spawning in now. Definitely not gonna go up through those traps. We're just gonna go this way. Oh my god! Holy hell! That was risky. You jerk. Alright. Ow, ow! <laughs> ow! A little chaotic. We're fine. Just a little damage. It's all good. It's all good. Alright, we good? All right, everything went perfectly according to plan. Stop it, it. And you know the it I'm talking about. You know what? Fair. Okay, I gotta, I gotta slow it down, stop taking so much damage. I wanna go fast, because I like going fast. <laughs> Not sure why I've never heard the music game when I watch streams. It is pretty low. Um, I can, I can probably crank it up a little bit if you want. Still probably a little low, but. Maybe you can hear it a little bit better. Um, we gotta backtrack, but we should probably push forward first. Uh, where are we going? Here. This floor in particular, the music is uh, rather quiet, it's muted. Not literally muted, it's just it's quiet, it's muted. <laughs> No. 
We gotta replace this amulet at the end of the floor. Their new news says other streams too, but I actually almost never watch other streamers than Abe. Ah. Their Nunu knows how to, he knows the path to my heart. <laughs> I'd like to th uh, to think that it's probably more just because I play games that he likes to, wa that Der Nunu likes to watch as opposed to, I'm a good streamer. <laughs> Knock it off. I hate your nonsense. Flashing fans, get out of here with those. Pricklepuss welcome says, speaking of soundtracks, I really want the Hollow Knight soundtrack on vinyl, but it sold out immediately within 30 minutes, was reselling for triple asking price. Ah, scalpers. I have no preference one way or another towards vinyl or anything like that. I just, if I'm listening to music, I just, I want it to play on my phone, probably. That's what I look for. Ka -ka! Hey, Niniel Karufin. Ka -ka! Thank you very much for the Twitch Prime cool. subscription. Ka -ka! Ka -ka! I gotta find a, uh, a good idea for a uh, notification that's Dead Cells related. <laughs> Maybe one of these days. What do we got? I don't know, I don't know what I would buy. Hemorrhage stuns the victim. That's, that's pretty nice. Man, like this level seven flint still crushes. Mud, not nud. <laughs> Pork this nud, Connie. I like, um... Everyone who, uh... Watches the streams as well. Everyone's so nice. There's another one up there? Is it a double elite? Nope. Hmm. Huh. He didn't drop anything. That's that's incredibly strange. Don't be another curse chest. Thank you. Smoke bomb in the katana. No, thank you. Guess we'll go check out this um, little platforming area. If this is just free food, I'll be very happy. This is just free food. Um, we'll just come back. Uh, you know what? Let me activate it so I don't forget it. Otherwise, I will forget it. So that's a 13% damage bonus for our next encounter. I'll probably eat one food item and then recycle the rest, but we'll, um... Also, not enemies behind the door, just saying. I have some maintenance I need to do on this floor, by the way. I need to find a uh, a way of, you have an item? You're a bat. You didn't even drop anything. Why isn't the one dropping items anymore? What happened? Is my game bugged? Was it because I took too much damage on the floor? That grenade had, an, had a, a star above his head and what did I get out of it? Nothing. Am I losing my mind? 
Video game. Are you okay? Oh. What I need to do, um, as far as like video game paraphernalia is concerned, I bring this up every so often. I need to find someone who has the Homeworld Banana Boat statue and buy it off of them. That's the only, that's like the only thing I want. Well. Hey, at least you dropped something. Thank you. What is this? One, two. We've got a better amulet up there uh, in the first area. A cheese wheel. Oh, run. Fat boy. Fat boy jumping, everybody. So I'm gonna laser two. There a small food? No, we'll, we'll we'll eat this food. I think that's acceptable. We'll still have, uh, in theory, two damage bonuses for the next floor. Although I don't think I've seen the the food drop from the floor. I have to sneeze. <laughs> I think I double tapped my mute button. <laughs> I apologize. Elite. Okay. <laughs> Connie says, I've had a lot of people offer to buy VGM records off of me for like five times the initial, initial price I bought them for, which is a bit silly. Have you been selling? Offer them a counter, counter offer of like, you know, 10 times and say, yeah, sure. One more scroll before the before we go. One more scroll for the road. All right. Actually, you know, I still like the current amulet. It gives us an extra jump. And one, we get one less health scroll, but we still have the reveal secret wall effect. Yeah, I, I think I'm a fan. I just wish that I got stuff off of like the bat that died. He didn't drop anything. I got cheated. We want to go up here. I, I ran through this because I was scared and not performing that well. Oh, there's score fragments. Down a little more. Right there. Right there. That's the food, okay. You know, we are, we're 25% down on health. I'm gonna eat this one. We're two HP away from full health. But we still have one free food item that we had from the floor that we can just recycle. I didn't want to get the plus three malaise from this one either. Oh, right, right, we also gotta go to the shop. We need to find a fire grenade. No, uh, yeah, we have to find a fire grenade, I think. Because I won't be able to light the giant on fire. Like his eye. Oh, but you know what? We don't need to light the eye on fire with to use magic missile. We got the flint. We're just gonna be smacking it repeatedly. Random skills, like brutality. Let's see what we got. Uh, spreads oil. Burns. Syringe. Oh my god. I mean, if you. If you wanted to go all in, now's the time. Collector syringe, easy, flawless on the boss. Holy water is fire, but with a 12 second cooldown. I'd rather have the fire be in a larger area, which is why I would like like a, a fire grenade. You get a better infantry grenade. Level eight to level 10. It's quite a lot more damage too. 47 grand right now? <sighs> we lose victims burn when they die. But we have that on magic missile. 
<clears throat> I'm, I'm wondering if if we kill a fist, does that count as dying? And will it be able to burn the eye? I think the answer is no, but tell you what, let's upgrade and then immediately roll into a fire grenade. Okay, luckily that didn't happen. I'm like, maybe if we hit with the flint, it'll light the enemy on fire, but if we're hitting with the flint, we're using the flint damage because it's like triple or quadruple that of the magic missile anyways, so. Let's just get out of here. No, let me out. I want out of here. I suppose we could also fight Clock Boss and use magic missile pretty effectively. You know, stay at a, stay at a distance. Grenades and magic missile, but we're not gonna light anything on fire because I don't have an, a fire grenade. Got an oiled sword. Not what I had in mind. All right. <clears throat> Let's hope we get the flawless. Be using magic missile against the fists. And in this situation, even against the eye, you know, we can get in there now. Okay, one fist done. The other fist is. Easy enough to kill. We didn't even fall off of his fist. <laughs> that, was, that was nice. That was a good run. Good fight. Good fight. Ding 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 ding. Now we're three HP down. How did that happen? <laughs> All right. Where are we going? Let's think. Would this make a good queen run? Uh, I'm not really seeing it. God, I would love to get a Yumi's bow though. <laughs> it's such a good weapon for it. I mean, what are we? What are we better at fighting? Servants of the Queen or Throne and Observatory? Uh, neither, really. <laughs> um, we're not, I mean, we're not bad at fighting either, but we're not good at fighting either, either. Either, 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 either. Word Power says Astrolab. Ben Spartan says, I'm yet to flaws the concierge. His, his aura and shield are really annoying. Mechanically, it's a pretty easy fight, but his effects are garbage. Maximum Punishment Distillery Run. No. <laughs> Magic Missile makes book boys way less annoying, says Gord Power. That's a good point. Yeah. Then we still have to fight the boss. I mean, we got a lot of HP. Uh, we don't have a lot of HP. We're not going to have a lot of HP. We're not rolling survival, but... Pretty good damage on the flint. I could even roll the shield. Let's... Let's go, well, we're, we're gonna go to the castle. So let's go to the castle and see what our legendary is. I keep forgetting that um, we don't actually get the opportunity to go to the uh, Dracula's castle. We have to go to the High Peak castle. So let's see what we get. I'm gonna bet that it's like a taunt. No, knife dance, knife storm. Bleeding causes poisoning. Pretty good bleed damage around you. I mean, 
the flint has better damage on bleeding and poison. So that seems incredible. <laughs> like, that seems absolutely lovely. It's exactly what I want, I think. Just heavy damage. I mean, we'll definitely take it over the inf infantry grenade. That damage is absurd. Bleeding also causes poisoning. Is that... Do you think that's the same damage as the poison? Dead cells. Knife dance. Bleeding also applies poison. Thanks. Fine. <laughs> Don't answer the question. <laughs> Because if it's the same DPS as the bleed, that's fantastic. I guess we can go to the Astro Lab. There's no reason not to. Probably do the Servant next run then. Although I'll admit the burst damage on the Servants, they run up to you, you hit him with one of these, and then you run away. Or you hit him with a, like a roll behind, charge up Flint. That's a lot of damage. I mean, I, I don't know. Let's go to the castle. I want to fight them both, <laughs> actually. Could be an opportunity to, like, make a save state, take one path, then take the other path, but... I, I kind of just want to fight them both. I also can't believe I'm still rolling this very early game. Uh... Infantry grenade still. It's not good. Also, it does look like it's the same DPS poison because the bleed was doing about 2000 on a tick. Uh, the poison attacks faster. Or it ticks faster, I should say, but it was doing about a thousand damage. So it does seem like it's working. So in theory, you know, against bosses, this flint is gonna just like Oh god! It's gonna wreck. You are definitely an enemy I should attack with range. Hey. Woo, I almost jumped into that blade. Eh. Hey. Hold on, I had to deal with an uninvi uninvited guest all of a sudden. Be careful of the spikers. Oh my god. Scary. Magic Missile has a, a small similar problem to like the Quick Bow, which is that it does take a second for the damage to scale up as it's firing, because the first few shots don't do that much damage. It's only when the, the projectile turns red that it really starts to, to power up, but it's not too bad. I messed up my jump! It's okay. I just wanted to jump down and break the ground. The game didn't let me do it. Alright, 10,000 HP finally. That's really good damage out of that knife storm. Ooh, whoa, 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 whoa. Good, good, good. 
I'm hopeful to find a... Uh, cursed chest. I would love to see it. But probably not. Dun, 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 dun. 17, 18. We'll go for the 18. 12,000 HP. Boxes. Probably money. A whole, like, 400 bucks. You know? You get enough of those lore rooms, eventually you're going to get enough money for a reroll. Re, re, roll. Brutality. Can we get a better flint or just a better weapon in general? 90,000 DPS with a bleed and poison synergy. I don't know what we would get. I don't know what we could get that would be better, except for a better flint. Lighting enemies on fire reliably would be nice, but unnecessary, I think. You know what we could do? We could go um, wish in the next biome as long as I don't forget that we have it, we can pick up one good weapon or item. One of anything that we want. We could get a level 12 legendary anything. And if it's a flint, all the better. Wow, this falling uh, bricks did a lot. chest. Ludwig says, I got a cursed chest in the castle earlier today. Had a great run with the assault bow. Assault? What is assault bow? Got clipped by the demon. Mm. It's actually a good reason to have the magic missile here. It's very good at taking care of demons and the books from the astrolab, so that's a very good point. Infantry bow. Ah. Infantry bow is a lot of fun. That's a good weapon. It's a fast weapon, too, which I like. Give me a second. You roll up to an enemy, you hit him with one crit shot, almost instantaneously. They get staggered. It's beautiful. It's magical. I appreciate that these doors are open every run. You don't have to get the keys multiple times. Um, so we'll finish off the floor. No curse chest, we've got the map. And there's our food. How are you not dead, by the way? You're in the spikes. Are you immune to spike damage? Big if true. You know what? Ow! Freaking iced him. Well, um, I think I'm gonna grab that before we leave. What the hell is your problem? I want to hold it for now, but or the current one for now, because it shows secret rooms, but we'll grab that one before we leave. It's about time for an upgrade and extra health before uh, an upcoming boss fight. Seems nice. It doesn't cost us anything. Hey, come here. You hit me! I mean, I told him to come here, but not like that. Hey. Okay, that time you just clipped the spike. Stop. Two of the back doors to do, huh? Okay. Tombstone is so funny, but not a boss item, no? You know, Tombstone's damage is actually not that bad. If you're rolling Tombstone against the boss, it could be a lot worse. I've had a lot worse. 
Oops. That was just like embarrassing. All right, just trying not to not to trigger that disengagement, even though it really doesn't matter at this point. Who are you? Or like, who were you? All right, and then uh, we have to do Green Door next. Where are we? We're down here. Phaser plus infantry bow is one of my favorite builds, says Seagus Jr. You see, I'm not a big fan of Phaser. I understand it in theory, and it, it sounds good in, pra in in theory, but whenever I try to use Phaser, I'm always disappointed by it. The teleportation is not really working the way I want it to work or something. I don't know. It's been a while since I've even tried. I feel like we're about due to find another Legendary, but if we flawless the boss, we'll just get one. Start swapping. Try to find a good amulet. What do we got here? Extra jump and projectile reduction. We don't need oil on the ground. Burn on the ground is totally fine. Because we already apply oil with the grenade and whatnot. Do we need heals? I, I would actually say that the answer is yes. As much as I would like to, you know, roll a, a slight damage bonus for the boss, we don't need to. It would be like 30% total if we recycled both food. I think I would much rather just have bonus HP walking into the fight. Try to avoid using a healing flask, probably. All right. Food. If I didn't take so much damage, then I would love to recycle, but we'll just take both of those and then we're out. I do see that there's yet another syringe at the very end of the floor, but I'm not gonna take it. I'm just gonna fight the boss. As much as I want to, because I love the syringe against this boss. I love the syringe against any boss, basically. It's such a cheesy way of killing things, but goodbye. See you later. Next run, maybe. We'll we'll dedicate a run to it. When we find it in the in the recycling tubes at the beginning of the game, we'll be like, okay, this is a this is the run where we're gonna just take it and we'll murder everything. And he says, why does the syringe have a Roman one on it? So how the syringe works is you power it up with your cells. Right now I have 1,048 cells. Every time you activate the ability, you spin and it does damage, but it does increasing amount of damage every time you use it up to five. So it'll go syringe one, two, three, four, five in Roman numerals and at the maximum level, the only thing that happens when you try to charge it up is that you spend cells to make it last longer. So you can, you can have it last for as many cells as you have, but damage-wise, it gets stronger every time you, uh, you power it up. So that's why it has Roman numerals. Five activations makes it the highest value possible, highest damage possible, and that's it. I think we're going to Reset mutations, and we're gonna go for disengagement. Armadillo pack, very good here. We don't need Wish. 
Do we want Wish for the next floor? Kind of. I'm like, why not? Ah, but if we pick up a legendary item after the boss fight, it's gonna be legendary anyways, and it'll ruin Wish. So just give me, uh, give me gastronomy. I might re, I might reset mutations again later. Off color mutations are okay. So, the reason why I really like Armadillo Pack, especially for this fight, is when we roll, if there are bombs on the ground, we will scoop up the bombs and throw them, which means it'll clear a space around us that we won't explode. This boss throws bombs. Ergo, when he throws the bombs, I can just roll through the bombs and clear them, meaning I don't have to dodge them, and they'll do damage to him. It's just a defensive mechanism. I'm, I'm taking the perk for the effect, not the damage. The damage is okay as well. Um, and Gastronomy is 65% bonus healing. I like that. Plus a little bit of extra bonus damage when we recycle food, and then we can just recycle this mutation before we fight the final boss. You can take off-color perks as long as you like the effect of them. Some perks are better than others, of course, but I like these two. All right. I don't know how this is gonna go. Let's see. So, right there. New dick! Wow, I took way too much damage here. I'm I'm disappointed in myself, honestly. Yo, die. So again, scoop up those bombs. Just taking way more damage than I should, and he's dead. Connie says, imagine if no mercy scaled. Execution under 30% on 30 cells. Half effect on bosses. Dude, at 30%, how much damage are you, how much bonus damage are you getting? What's one divided by 0. 0.7? Well, I'm disappointed that I didn't get the flawless, but that's okay. Eh. We got the first two flawlesses, I think. Magic Missile came out of the uh, the first boss, am I right? Am I right or am I right? <laughs> now do I want Wish? Dude. We got so much money. I'm gonna go Wish. I'm gonna go Disengagement. We're gonna go Gastronomy. Now for the love of God, Abe, don't forget you have Wish and just pick up an item absentmindedly. <laughs> for the love of all that is holy in this world. Okay. I did not see you down there. Now we don't need to worry so much about food recycling right now. When we find the food shop, we'll just buy the, the full heal from that. Hey. Killed you in one hit anyways. Sucker! Careful. We'll normally find the key before the first shot, but there you go. Down. Oh, oh not that. Uh, you're gonna aggro? You're not gonna aggro. Lore room. Lore, 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 lore. You an, you're an elite? We're in a leap. Three bonus levels. Thank you very much. This was such an incredibly bad engagement. I'm just going to heal. 
I, I, I didn't realize that my knife dance was on cooldown, and I was planning to use that to do most of the damage. <laughs> to be fair, I've been rolling double grenade for so long that I thought the cooldown was like instantaneously. So, you know, that's a my bad situation, but oh well. Don't take anything with wish, for the love of God. And you know what? I should not have sold that item because maybe we wanted it with Legendary. Now, it was just the electrical poles, so probably not, but hey, take a look at everything and consider every weapon that you find. Now, there's a bookman up here. He's got to go. The bookmen are just god awful to deal with. I was really hoping you would fall to your death. That would have been fun. It's just another elite hanging out. Why are there so many elites? And in this situation, we don't have to go for a brutality. We could go for, um... We could go for a um, tactics or survival skill and then get it legendary, it'll scale. Okay, how did you aggro me all the way up there? That's what I want to know. Also, were you... What were you shooting? That just looked funny. A little target selection there. Who goes first? The bookman or the bird? The age old question books or birds? It's a trick question. They all suck. Hey, get out of here. We'll definitely go for green. 15,000 HP. Our HP is not that terrible. I mean, last run I think we had um, like 30 something thousand fighting the boss, still almost died. I would love to have a little bit more. I would love to have like 25,000 going in there, but I doubt we're gonna get that much. That knife storm is basically just a kill on anyone every 14 seconds. I hate the shinies on the ground. I keep thinking that it's gonna be secrets, but I got rid of my amulet that showed me secrets earlier, so I'm not gonna find them like that. Again, I've been rolling it for so long, it's, it's embedded in my brain. Free secrets. Maybe if you don't get a hit, you won't need any more HP. Hey, I have gotten the flawless on on this boss before. I don't get it that often anymore, but I've done it the one time I needed to do it. Mm, yes. Extra jump. Shouldn't really try to uh, cheese attack these guys. I should just go for them. Just hold Y. See ya! There we go. You'd think that he could fly. Fortunately for me, he can't. He can just, like, jump a slight distance. Hey, 60. Magic Missile. I, I have to try to remember. Magic Missile cannot stun enemies. 
Now, it does stun those bomber guys when they uh, jump up into the air, but that's only because if you hit them in the air, they get stunned. Otherwise, they cannot get stunned. I gotta remember that. So I always fight them thinking that I can stun them. It's not exactly how it works. I mean, sometimes I can stun them, but it's, you know, situational at best. We've already found two food? Where was the other food item? Oh, there it is, it's at the very bottom. Yeah, we found two food already, so that is a 32% damage bonus against the boss, and then we can reset the mutation. You know what, I'll see you later. I don't need to fight you. <laughs> You're just a big jerk. Hey, come here. Wow, you were being protected by two of them and you still died. You suck. Clung, 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 clung. Door, door, door. A lot of doors. Um, let's go fight these double birds. All right. I I don't remember exactly when we picked up this uh, this flint, but it is still wrecking, which is absurd. So flashbang, do I want a flashbang legendary? I would say no. Nihilus Lemon, welcome. Gonna do a new run after this one? I don't know. Just joined and I seem late to the party. Well, this is right before the final boss. <laughs> So you know what, because whatever item we pick up is gonna be legendary, I think I'm just gonna go random and we'll just see what we get. And if we want something, we'll pick it up. If not, we'll reroll the mutation and get a free slot. So what do we have? Flamethrower turret. Mm. Scavenge to bombard. I believe this has a faster projectile. Makes it kind of nice. Um, do we want a turret for the boss? It's not bad, it does stun the boss, but I think because it stuns the boss, I find it kind of annoying at times. Let's, uh, let's re-roll, what do we get? Ooh, serenade! Legendary scythe is pretty sick. What does the legendary scythe do? because I hate legendary sight. <laughs> Serenade, on the other hand, plus damage on a poison target, we'll be able to make that happen. Burning oil, sometimes will make that happen. It's a solid weapon. It's gonna do a lot of damage on its own. Oh, foresight, that's actually pretty good. So Serenade is tempting. It would be hilarious if we could get a second one out of the same shop. But the, the legendary fix on this is that it lasts forever. Now, here's, here's the interesting thing. We don't need this to be legendary if we just pick it up because it's it's gonna be brutality based. But if we pick it up, it's gonna be legendary because I have Wish. I can't turn off Wish. So do we want a Serenade? I think it's better than the Infantry Grenade, for sure. It being legendary means I can just leave it and it's gonna do its damage passively. Probably get rid of magic missile at this point. We're not gonna we're not gonna utilize it. I'd love a good shield. Yeah, we're not gonna get rid of the knife dance, but I will definitely get rid of the inf infantry grenade four. All right, so there's our legendary serenade, which is lasts indefinitely. Good damage. The affixes on it changed when I um, when I picked it up, so we'll have to re-roll it, I think. 
Funnily enough, I would like another one, <laughs> but probably won't get another one. Cleric Shock, no thank you. Okay, that's fine. A, a second one would just be funny because then you could keep the cycling the damage bonus from it constantly without having to put it into your hand because it's just in your hand always, but this is a-okay. Let's go to the shop. Legendary Holy Water. I mean, does it really matter at this point? There's no enemies left except for the boss. I'm heal up. There's our, there, there's our food. We're gonna recycle our food. I guess we'll have to go down from the top. It's okay. <laughs> it's funny rain. You know what also makes funny rain? Me, when I uh, have too much to drink. Oh. Oh, 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 oh! Get screwed! Okay, you did hit me, which was very annoying because I just bought the heal. <laughs> Cycle. Other food I think is outside. Right there. Cycle. <laughs> uh, and then we'll leave. Wood Power says, I hate Serenade because it breaks my brain trying to optimize it for the fight. I, um, I don't worry about optimization. I just, every once in a while, I just try to remember to put it in my hand. The thing that I hate about the Serenade, and I talk about it all the time, is that sometimes when you try to put it in your hand, it just doesn't work. It goes, eh, eh, and you you just keep attacking with the previous weapon you had in your hand. So it's like, well, what the, what the hell am I doing with my life then? Dude, the grappling hook needs a buff. I know that's kind of not the point of it, but it, it sucks right now. Plus damage from bleeding. I gotta admit, a um, a throwing knife is tempting. The damage isn't amazing, but it does give us... bonuses to flint because we can trigger the bleed. Are you playing the beta? I was, this is, uh, this is not. This is just the normal version of the game. When are we going to use Magic Missile in the fight? Pretty much never. <laughs> um... But you know what? I still think it's better. It'll activate the synergy on, on the flint. When the boss is, like, uh, firing those balls at you, Roll knife flint. Roll knife flint. You don't have to power it up to full. You can just use a quick attack and it's going to get the damage bonus from from the bleed anyways. So that's pretty good. Shots pierce, plus damage on a root, plus damage on burning oil. Whatever. Still have the frontline shield. Honestly, I might even just go with a parry. Like, what if we just equip the shield and we try to parry? You know, I might try for that. Regardless, we do need to reset mutations because we don't care at all about the um, gastronomy. We don't need it anymore. We don't need execute either. Recovery is pretty decent. 16% bonus health, also pretty decent. What about, um, what about these? Using a health flask adds double damage for 12 seconds. Pretty good. So is Vengeance. Open wounds. Um, I don't think we need open wounds for the flint because it takes so long to charge. I'm, I'm unlikely to attack twice that quickly. We're going to attack and then respond and attack and then respond. Which is usually like a, a parry or a dodge roll or a, a jump. 
There are times when he's just kind of like sitting there not doing anything, like the beginning of the second phase, the second room, I should say. He spawns enemies and then he just like sits there at the, at the middle. But we can just hit him when that happens. Let's go for Tainted Flask. Double damage. I'll try to use it. I'll probably try to parry as well, which means I'll, I probably won't use the throwing knives, but whatever. I don't normally uh, try to parry. But I, I feel like I've been hit so many times recently by the syringe poke, I just need to parry it. Because if you parry, you take no damage. Imagine that. Let's um, wait for a second. I really thought we would transition to the next room. Now we, now we're going. As the wrong weapon equipped. There we go. I'm, I'm handling this fight improperly. You heal, I heal. I mean, actually, it's not going that badly. Whoa, I think I killed him in one shot from the flint. <laughs> Dude, that didn't go that badly at all. We took a couple of hits, but we healed back pretty nicely. That bonus damage at the end, I believe killed him in one single hit, which was kind of hilarious. Without me, you're nothing. Yeah, 1.3 million damage. He he takes more damage during that, that phase though, but that's kind of funny. Where's the fight? But, uh, you know, even, I, I haven't, tried to main hand a shield for a long time. Having the shield made that fight a little bit easier, I think. I gotta practice. Practice with the shield and I'll be very happy with the results, I think. So he has like plot armor before you knock the flask off. Well, he, it's because he has the flask. He's the guy who's making your flasks. He just has a better version of it, but you have to keep punching him until he drops it, and then you can steal it and use it. Makes it a lot easier. It does, because I think what I'm realizing, and this is something I've, I realized back when I played Dead Cells when the, the Queen and the Sea DLC update happened. I played a whole bunch of it. What I realized was that having a shield means that you don't have to rely on your jumps and your dodge rolls. You have a third thing to get you out of range of enemies' attacks. And especially on that fight, his syringe poke has such huge range and hitbox that a parry helps you so significantly. And I keep talking about wanting to do more shield builds, so maybe at some point in the future we'll do a shield build and we'll, tr we'll not take armadillo pack. Well, I mean, maybe we can take armadillo pack, but we'll mainline a shield or main hand a shield and then actually try to use that to do damage. We could also try to do a challenge run of only shield I never did that in um, in my previous Dead Cells play, even though it was suggested multiple times, and I kind of hate the idea of it, but it is interesting to think about. That was a good run, though. Flint, incredible damage. What can I say? We, we did get a very good one that had bleed and poison and plus 40% raw damage bonus, but that was just a level seven Flint. Fantastic. Get Greed Shield and Midas' Blood with the Shield build. Well, for a Shield build, what's interesting is Legendary Barricade. Because with the Legendary Barricade, aka Diverse Deck, you can get unlimited temporary health stacked permanently forever by parrying. 
That sounds like a very interesting build. That's like a pure tank build. I assume that if you get hit with temporary HP, you still lose flawlesses and whatnot, but I wonder how high it stacks. Can you actually stack like a 10 million hit points or something like that? I don't know. Legendary Greed Shield, it's 100 gold. Right, right, right. Legendary Greed Shield is for every 1% of your money, it's like 1% damage bonus. So if you have like 100,000 gold, it's like a double damage or something like that, I think. But uh, yeah, if you stack up enough money, you could stack up good damage. But does it, it? I don't know about the Greed Shield is if it affects your damage or just the damage of the shield. But regardless, things to think about. And also the uh, clean cut update. If it does, does, if it does drop on May 4th, I'll have a uh, good opportunity to pick up new legendary equipment and check out the differences like the smoke bomb, which would have been really nice. For now, for those of you on YouTube, thank you very much for watching. Like the video if you've enjoyed it, subscribe for more. Check me out on Twitch for when I go live. Support the channel at any of the links below in the video description. And I hope to see you here again for the next run of Dead Cells.